we knew uh, coming in, obviously, it was going to be a tough. I mean, they're a good team, tough team. You, you know, you're not facing you too if you, you don't do things well. Um, and then I think uh, being down here, it's added uh, a little bit, being on their home field. Um, but really, I'm pretty proud of what our team did. I thought we fought. Um, you know, they had some big innings. We'd come back, put people on base, score some runs. Um, we needed just a few more hits strung together. We left some people on base um, to give us more of a shot as we got deeper into the game. Um, but, you know, for the most part, pretty happy with the, the, fought, the fight that we brought and um, expecting the same competitiveness and fight tomorrow. One thing we were talking about before is keeping those airs off the board. I know it's hard, tough to do against West Texas A&M and to that level, but how much did you think that played a factor in some things? We, I think the one thing is we started a little maybe timid or on our heels a little bit. Um, so that kind of hurt us. Obviously, if you don't want to start with the big inning, and they came out um, with the four-run inning. Um, so, yeah, we, we did have some plays that we did make that – ultimately hurt us and kind of opened the floodgates so and we talked about that you know the biggest things we wanted to shore up was we, we got to be able to uh, take care of the ball tomorrow and um, keep getting those those key hits not try to leave so many runners on base how deflating is it for a team as you mentioned you score a run they got a couple you scored a couple they got a couple more it just seems like fighting that uphill battle is always tough it is it is um you know but but we kept fighting you know we didn't you know, roll over or anything like that. Um, it is what it is. So um, that's all. That's the biggest thing for all year. We just ask them to come out, compete, play hard, and that's what they're doing. I expect it tomorrow. How tough is it to watch Smith go through what she went through, and obviously you brought in Haley as well. Yeah. It just seemed like neither one of them really got their stuff today. Um, they well, we struggled to get ahead, and that was kind of the problem. Uh, small strike zone. Um, at times floating around a little bit. Um, but and they're they're pitchers that they we gotta try and use that a strike zone to keep it low and try to get the ground balls. We didn't get the ground as many ground balls as we had hoped. Um, but again I thought Cassidy fought her butt off, you know, so um, yeah, I mean like I I'm not upset with them. I'd say the biggest thing I wanna see tomorrow is getting ahead more, attacking the hitters more. Some of these girls sitting next to you are some of the new faces around yeah. here. For them to come up in this situation was it's pretty big. You didn't see any fear from either one of them today. No, no. And I wouldn't expect it from either one of them or anybody on our team. We talked about that. Um, we were talking about key hits. Well, these two definitely came up with key hits at, at, at big times. And so, um, yeah, I, that's kind of the way they play. We, you know, KP's been doing it for a while now. The last two or three weeks been hot. And Brooke grinds out at bats. She's always putting the ball in play. She's not an easy out by any means. And so, and she can do a lot of things. And so, um, I'm certainly not surprised by these individuals sitting next to me. So, KP, kind of talk about playing in a level uh, up at Division II, national, you know, number one team in the nation. What was that like for you out there? Um, I think we kind of knew what we were coming into this week. Uh, it was kind of hard when they get those big innings, but I think we did a good job at kind of staying steady and answering back each inning. We just kind of weren't able to string enough hits together to do too much damage against them, but I definitely think we'll see them again and we'll get another shot against them. How, uh, the fight with this team, just all year they've been fighting, they fought through the conference tournament, and it just seems like it's part of the team that we've seen all year. It's <laughs> unreal, like every weekend is kind of a new thing. We don't really know who's going to be playing where and stuff, but everyone's been grinding out the past couple weeks and we knew it was going to be a hard game, but I think we stuck in there pretty well, and I think the next time we see him, it'll be a different outcome. Brooke, did you feel timid out there at the beginning of this game? I know you got a base hit early there, but uh, did you feel it, the NCAA, just how big it is out here? Um, yeah, I was nervous just because it's the regional tournament, um, but we've seen them before, and I kind of like listen to Coach, he's like, just play your guys' game, and I just knew like there was going to be girls in new positions, so I felt like we can't, the girls who've been here before, we can't be nervous. We have to be strong for the ones who are nervous. And that's how I felt. Like, obviously the environment was way different compared to where we've, it felt different, it just, to me personally, but um, I don't know, I didn't, I wasn't too nervous at points I was, but not really. I think we did really well with it. So, so what, are you, what are you guys saying to each other players-wise to get amped up for tomorrow? You have to win a couple games to get through it tomorrow. What are some things you guys say to each other as you get ready for tomorrow's game? 
Um, like after the game, just now, when we just had a little, uh, just the girls, they said we'll come back tomorrow. Um, we all, we always figure it out. That's like one thing. We always come back fighting regardless. And we know what we got to do as individuals and as a team.